Brittany, would you want to start from the beginning? So you overwhelmed by us fun girls yet? Not even a little. Really? I thought you'd be counting down the minutes. Are you Yeah, no. I just, I really don't think any of you guys can surprise me. I, uh, I'm not a big partier. It's not my scene. I see. Sorry, it's just uh, I haven't met the famous and mysterious BC High Cormac, and uh, after Nicole and Paige's stories, I thought a group gathering might do good. No worries. I think I like partying too. I'm also not a big fan of this music. Hold up. Whoa, those are beautiful records collected by yours truly. Hate to break it to you, boo, but I haven't been dazzled yet. Oh, you want to be dazzled? Oh! <laughs> Now, this is music. Is that Billy Joel? Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Ah, come on, you'll love it. Oh, wow. I don't think I'll ever not think of Cormac when I hear this song. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Can we skip it? <laughs> Come on, you love this song. You're the one that made him love it. I don't know. It's just, sometimes Cormac is a little much, you know? It can just be annoying being so touchy and clingy. I, I just kind of prefer hanging out with you guys sometimes. No, I get that. I mean, he can get on your nerves. And plus, he's a naturally cuddly person, so it's like to the max. Yeah, plus I'm not really like a huggy person anyway, so maybe that's why I don't like it that much. Yeah, I mean, but did you talk to him about it? What, about like the hugging? I mean, kind of. It's just like, some people are huggy, like, it's whatever. I don't care. Right, but like, me and Paris and you know, his girlfriend don't mind it like you do, so it's not the end of the world if you just put up those boundaries. <sighs> yeah, I know, it's just like, stupid. He doesn't even really like me talking about it, you know? What do you mean he doesn't like you talking about it? I don't know. It's just like, there was this one time where he came over <laughs> You got an yeah, escort? I thought it was just the Fon Fon van. So when the sirens started going off, I was like, wait a second. Hey, no, sorry, guys, actually... my phone's about to die. I'm gonna grab my charger from the car. What? Can we please talk about this? Cormac, I don't know what to say. I'm, I haven't said anything to anyone, but I'm pretty sure Paige and Barana have pieced it together. And Barana's the last person I want to know about this. I know, I know. It's just you always do this, Cormac. You, you con your way out of an apology, and it's just... Just, please don't tell anyone, okay? It's my shit, I'll deal with it. I don't want anyone in my business. I won't, I promise. Can I get a hug? You know how much I hate hugs. Okay. On. What's so urgent? Um, remember a while back, you said you didn't super duper like Cormac? I mean, yeah, I mean, I. it's not that I don't like the guy, it's just, Paige and I have known each other since, like, freshman year, so I just kind of feel like he's a settle for her. Yeah, but, you know, what about his personality? What do you mean? Um... I was talking with Brittany, and she sort of talked about stuff that's been going down. Somebody's gonna have to tell Paige. That was not funny. <laughs> I can't believe you bought that. It's a highly probable situation. Boo, I told you, I'm the master at texting while driving. I never crash. 
You're gonna give me a heart attack one of these days. I should just kick you out now. But I'm your prom after party tonight. Yeah, I feel bad I had to cancel. Don't. I'm just glad you let me crash here tonight. I just don't want to be at home. I understand. How's Paige? Weren't you just with her? <sighs> you think I can really tell what's going on in the mind of my girlfriends? She's just... She's been really weird lately, and I think it's because graduation is around the corner. I don't know. I think it might be the end for us. Don't say that. I mean, she could just be in a mood. You don't know. Maybe. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah, I had a blast. I just wish I could have hung out with Andy more. I don't know. You know how he is in relationships. Nicole runs his world. It wouldn't have it any other way. She gets jealous easily. Right. Plus, she has a right to be. You're madly in love with him. Yeah, you're right. It's just... I don't know. I, I wish... That he loved you? <sighs> or that he realized you and him are best friends and that you love him. Even more than me. But it's fine. Come on. But for real, boo. No matter what, I will always love you. No one else can love you the way I do. Thank you, but you don't have to say that. Hey, I love you. You're everything I need in this world. You're amazing. I love you too, Cormac. Uh, I should get to bed. I have a million bobby pins in my head. What? Are you <laughs> Stop, Cormac! I hate being tickled. You know that. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. I know your weaknesses, and I'm one of yours. <laughs> You're right. I can't stand another moment without you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You look breathtaking tonight. Cormac, we shouldn't be doing this. Stop, Cormac. Hey, I'm gonna miss you. Yes? What other self-esteem will you relentlessly tear down? Stop. I'm serious. I'm still going to be around. In fact, I'll be closer to you at Suffolk than in Waltham. I know. It's just... I don't know. Hey. Do you know what song I've listened to through and through, memorized and fallen in love with? What? Vienna. Crazy child. Hey, stranger. Answer your phone. I miss my nightly FaceTimes. Yeah, sorry, school's just been, uh, it's been crazy between applications and working on the musical, you know, all that jazz. Well, I still expect to be your number one priority. And the Cormac's been away, so I'm an extra needy lately. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course, of course. Uh, have, have you talked to him? When does he get back? Tonight, yeah. Um, is there anything okay with you guys? Because I just know you haven't been talking since you went down there, so I just wanted to, you know, make sure. <laughs> I just, I need to talk to you about something. Um, well, like a week ago, I was hanging out with Paris and Barana, and I was talking to Barana about Cormac and how sometimes he can be a little touchy and clingy, you know? And, um, well, like, you know how if I was having a bad night or he was having problems, he would come over late at night and stay in my back room? Well, I, you know, I'd go down to make sure he got in okay, and sometimes we'd get to talking, and 
I don't, I didn't want anything to happen. You know, I just, I don't know. What happened, Brittany? Well, you know, after prom, when he came over and stayed at my house, because yeah. he was having problems with his mom. Yeah. Well, like, I was feeling down, and he was, and he tried to cuddle me to comfort me, but I, I didn't want anything to happen, you know? And, uh, um, well, like, I just, I don't think he knows his own strength, you know? Because, like, I tried to push him off, but, um, and, uh, and I, um, just lately he's been telling me that I'm the only one he can talk to, you know? And he's wanted to die because he didn't want to make you feel worse, and... I felt bad and I wanted to tell you, but he said not to, you know? <laughs> and um, I just don't know. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm so sorry that happened to you. No, it's my fault. Like, I just, maybe I wasn't vocal enough about it. I don't know. It's just, I, I thought no. maybe it was wrong. No, no. Listen, Brittany, um, Cormac always wanted something more, but I wasn't ready to give it. <laughs> And um, he'd do the same thing, and he got aggressive, and I didn't want to say anything because I thought I was protecting you, and I'm just, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. No, stop, this isn't your fault. I'm, I'm fine, I just, um, I'm gonna head out because I just have to think about some things before he lands tonight, but um, hey, I am here for you, okay? And I love you, and this is gonna be okay, all right? You shouldn't be doing this. Stop, no. I don't want to do this. Stop. What are you? Stop. No. I don't want to do this. Stop. You always. talked to my family and stayed with me that night, and now I'm here. You've been through a lot. Eh, you know. You don't have to put on a brave face with me. You don't need to be pretend to be okay when you're not. I know Paris and Verona have been very helpful to you while you're still processing everything that's gone on this past year. And you said it's been better since Paige and Cormac separated? Yeah, I mean... She says she still sees him a lot, but their campuses are right next to each other, so... And she says she sees Nicole a ton, too, which she isn't happy about. Why is that? Nicole told Barana that if I invite someone over my house late at night and sit on their bed, what do I expect to happen? <laughs> but it's just... It wasn't like that. Of course not. It's just... <sighs> do you know what the first thing my parents asked me was? Have they been supportive since they found out? No. They just don't understand. They asked me what I was wearing. And it's, it's, it wasn't like that. It's not like I was trying to... Of course not. You knew you'd offer a place to stay if you needed it. If you preyed on your vulnerability. It's still wrong even though he's your friend. It's still wrong even though it was at your house. You said no. You told him to stop, and he didn't. How did you answer your parents' question? What? About what I was wearing? Right. Well, I told them the truth. 